Hello, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today, let's create some desktop apps using Electron. Now, Electron is created by uh, GitHub. It's an open source project. And what it basically does is it merges um, IOJS with Chromium. So you have a browser with IOJS installed in it, and they run together. It's great. You can create really awesome desktop applications. Um, so let's do that today. The first thing you need is to have IOJS or Node.js installed on your machine um, to get everything running and building. I'll put a link in the description uh, to an earlier video I did uh, to show you how to get this uh, going. So we're getting started with a completely empty folder. And so the first thing we want to do is type npm init. And this will create a package.json file for us. We just hit enter through those things, not important. Um, and then the next thing we want to do is install npm electron pre-built and I'm going to do save dev to save it to our dependent dev dependencies so the next time we install uh, we just have to type npm install or npm i for the shorthand all right so now that we have electron pre-built installed and downloaded we can go into our package JSON and then here uh, in the script section, we are going to we're going to add this start script here, and um, I'm going to just take out my defaults here. And uh, Electron Prebuilt gives you this Electron binary um, that's installed here um, by npm, and so we're just going to reference that by just saying Electron here in our start script, and we're just going to give it our local folder here because our app is just going to exist in our local folder. But this could be uh, a path to you know, somewhere else in case you wanted to put it in a subfolder or whatnot, but we're just going to keep it in the local folder here. Now, the next thing too is this main file. This is what Electron is going to load um, off the bat, and this will be your, your basically your app and what gets everything going. So here uh, we have it named to index.js. So let's go ahead and just create that file now. So now we can start creating our app. And so to do so, uh, Electron adds um, a few things uh, additionally to um, the require statements that uh, are not normally available to IOJS. Um, and one of those is app here. And so this is just the instance of our app. Um, and so what we can do, we say app on ready. So when we get a ready event, this is saying, okay, the Electron has finished starting up, everything's booted, Chromium's going, um, IOJS is going, the app is ready, let's build, let's let's do something with it now. And so here, uh, probably the first thing we want to do is, you know, let's just create a browser window. And so there's another uh, um, API that we can require here called uh, browser-window. And so we just say require dash browser dash window here, and we get this class uh, browser window. And so with this class, we can say, okay, here's our main window. We're just going to create a new one. And we pass in some options, and there's a bunch of options available. Um, the ones we care about right now, let's just say, okay, the width, let's make it 800 pixels wide. And the height, let's make it 600 pixels wide. So this will open a, uh, a window when we run this app. Um, just open a normal browser window. Um, and it'll basically be blank. And to show that here, um, we're gonna run our npm start script to start up Electron and uh, see what happens. So I'm just gonna type npm start, hit enter. It's gonna start up our app. We get a browser window, it's 800 by 600 pixels wide, and there's nothing in it. So what we need to do now is uh, create uh, a file for to load up in the browser window. And to do that, we say main window, dot load URL and with this uh, we're going to use the file um, uh, prefix here to say you know this is going to be a local file on our machine and since this is uh, still IOJS we can use the underscore underscore dot dir name to reference the current file or the current directory this script is running under and so then we can just say, okay, we're gonna load up an index.html file. So this is saying when the when they uh, our main window, let's load this URL, this file as the the main app. And we don't have this file, so let's go ahead and create it by saying new file, index.html. And so now with our uh, HTML file created, we can go ahead and just say hi. And so now when we run 
our electron shell, we should have a, a basic HTML file loaded with hi available. Now, since this is uh, electron which melds together chromium and IOJS, you can do things normally you wouldn't normally be able to do um, in uh, just a straight browser uh, Chrome um, browser window. So, like for instance, we can add a script tag here, and within the script tag, we get access to this require method to require other files. And so from here we can say uh, maybe we don't want to load everything in our index file. Maybe this is the main app that's that's running uh, when our index file gets loaded. And so uh, we'll say require dot slash because we're going to require a local file and this app.js here. And so let's go ahead and create this file uh, app.js and then in here we could say document.write because we are still in a browser window and say the current version of IOJS is, but we're also in a, uh, a node or an IOJS environment, so we can still get access to this process variable to get the version of IOJS. This is this is what's cool about this is you know you can use both IOJS and a browser at the same time um, to build your app. And so with this, let's just save this and run our app. And see what we get. Yep, so we get our high, it loads in our app.js file, and then it document writes out uh, the current version of IOJS. Now, a common thing you would do in a desktop app um, is uh, read a file. So we can use the FS module directly from IOJS to, to read that file. Um, so let's say contents equals um, fs read file sync. And we're just using the, the, the normal uh, fs um, module provided by IOJS. And so here we're going to just say, okay, a local file. Let's just, let's just read our package JSON and we're going to use the UTF-8 encoding so we don't have to two-string it or anything. So now our, vari our contents variable should have the contents of our package JSON. But since this is still a browser, let's use alert. We can alert it out alert out our contents. And when we run this, we can see we read the file and we've displayed it in an alert box. Pretty neat. So there are many, many more things you can do um, with both Electron and IOJS and um, Chrome. And so, I mean, that's the, basically the power of this uh, for creating desktop applications. Um, I encourage you to go to github.com uh, slash atom slash electron and then uh, here uh, there's the docs folder and with this they have a whole bunch of guides on getting started um, API reference um, you can see here we use the browser window and we use the app as well so you can get more uh, information um, on those individual things all the different options and settings you can do um, things like opening up tray icons at the top here dialogues menus all kinds of things um, I you know it's a great resource that's the resource <laughs> So anyways, I hope that's gotten you started uh, writing some desktop applications with Electron. Um, if you uh, found this interesting or useful, you know, please share it and uh, maybe somebody else will as well. Share the information, share the knowledge. Um, and uh, yeah, and if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and uh, thanks again for watching.